Councillor Ajumeri. Uh, my motion, Speaker, is that City Council defer this item for one month and request the General Manager Transportation Services to enter into discussions with representatives of the oil companies to explore other alternatives and, and report to City Council at its next meeting. I want to read you part of an email that I received from uh, Mr. Shane Chapman, and he was writing to the uh, oil companies about safer passage through the city, and this came in the wake of the Sunrise propane explosion. I understand that the, comments, the comment sounds harsh, but in reality, your industry can create quite a bang in our neighborhood. The explosion at Sunrise must be a lesson to us all. I know firsthand what it was about. I've seen it once and I never want to see it again. Keel Street has been used by tankers for far too long at all hours of the day and night when other alternatives are available. Please rethink your routes for the future. Inform your drivers to use extra caution when going through a, a school zone. I've seen firsthand what propane can do and I don't want to see, I don't want to see the la what the latter can do to our city street. And this gentleman has been advocating um, night and day through the, the good people of uh, Downsview Public School, which is located on Keel Street, uh, north of, of Wilson, because the tankers do use our community to go to uh, the oil farms uh, at Keel and, and, and Finch. Um, I represented the community at Keel and Finch for quite some time, and I can tell you that right now, the entire Downsview community is a very jittery community. Um, and the report allu makes allusions to one spill in recent history as being only one spill. We all know that one spill is one spill too many. Uh, the implications of today's vote speaker are that we are ignoring public safety. We are ignoring local community safety if we don't adopt Councillor Councilor Moscow's amendments. And in fact, if we do continue to ignore local community safety, it's tantamount to gambling playing Russian roulette with the safety of our citizens. Um, in the report, acceptable risk is cited, and it really is, in my opinion, unacceptable, because what you're doing in, by adopting this motion is risking the potential for another disaster. And the other disaster, uh, uh, gauging from the quantity of, of fuel in the area, is quite, is, is, I would say, and I've heard it say a hundred times greater than the Sunrise propane explosion was because of the amount uh, of fuel kept and stored on, on site. Uh, it's like leading lambs to the slaughter, and Councillor Moscow talked about how they won't even use a lawnmower, an electric or gas-powered lawnmower on site in, because they want to lessen the, the, uh, res their responsibility for, having, for igniting uh, potential fires with the with the sparks the building of a small section of roadway is the very least that this council can do to try to allay fears in this community and I've heard the councillors over and over say that they want to protect this corporation and in doing so they have to realize that they will have blood on their hands because when you have a potential for an explosion a disaster of this sort you invariably cost human lives and that is what happened at sunrise and that is what will happen at this site because it can happen you cannot you cannot rule um, as you cannot be part of this government and think and lay your bets that it won't happen because it invariably will it can happen and it's tantamount to to abrogation of our responsibilities if we don't um, and I think that would be a most egregious act on our part because we're here to to and the public expects us to protect them um, the former city of York did a great thing when it stood up to the propane industry the former city of York was a leader in this, in, this, in this field. And it was then joined by the former city of Toronto, and they actually went to court over this. The former city of York was, was far ahead of its time in, in actually taking the propane industries to court. And it was so horribly done what the, what the uh, provincial government did at the time in joining forces with the propane industry and fighting the, the city of York and the city of Toronto at the time, and actually joining hands with the propane industry against the people of the city. So the former city of York had it right, and we should follow their example, which I expect to do when we, the, form, the, the harmonized bylaw comes, comes into effect in the near future.
So I, I really reach out to my, to my colleagues and say, let's think about these communities, because the Young Street community doesn't have this fear. Downs you community does. All in favor Kipling community care. does. You know, some communities have it and some don't. And that is wrong because communities are dealt with on a different on a different level, on a different playing field. And we have, you know, poor the, the communities of so-called poor cousins. And those are the Kiplings, those are the Downs used. And they ought not to be. All communities and all people in this city should be treated on an equitable basis. And they're not. And so I, I think that, that my motion, coupled with Councillor Moscow's motion, would help communities be treated on a more equitable, equitable basis. And we really have to open up our hearts. And I know that that means opening up your pocketbooks. But if you don't, as I said, their blood will be on your hands. Thank you.